Welcome back. Again, my name is Chris Harper and welcome to Destin. Um, now we're here to talk about the golf carts. If uh, your house does come with a six person golf cart, and we did just explain the form here, there are um, some specific guidelines and rules and restrictions to the golf cart that I wanna go over with you in more detail. Um, so first off, you have to be 21 in order to operate the golf cart here legally in the state of Florida. Um, I have to have your driver's license and the insurance like we went over on this form. Now, in Destin, it's pretty simple. There's only one main highway, uh, and that's the only road that we can't go on. So legally, we cannot drive on any road posted 35 miles an hour or more. And seeing that Highway 98 is the only one that uh, fits that bill that we can't go on, it's the only road you can't cross or go on. Um, this community that we're in and filming is the retreat at Miramar, which is in Miramar Beach, Florida. But either whether you're in Destin or Miramar Beach, as long as you're south of the highway, you're gonna be able to take uh, the golf cart to Scenic Golf Drive. You can take that golf cart all the way to Winn-Dixie Grocery Store, uh, Chick-fil-A to the east of us, and all the way to the, to the far eastern part of Henderson Beach State Park to the west of us. Um, so, so keep in mind, you can, you can really have a lot of fun and travel around, and it's, it's quite an experience just to have these golf carts. Now let me talk more about the golf cart. So this is a six passenger golf cart. So uh, no more than six people uh, allowed to drive at any given time. So don't, uh, don't try to uh, put more than that on there uh, because you, you probably will get stopped obviously. Now, because it's a golf cart, we do have a lot of misconceptions with people um, associating the golf cart with the golf course. Uh, but this is a registered vehicle in the state of Florida. If, as long as you drive and operate it just like you would your car on the streets, you're going to be fine. But, uh, but part of that is pertaining to open container laws with regards to alcohol. Um, just like your car, your car you cannot drive uh, with an open container of, of alcohol. It's the same, same thing here, same principle. You're allowed to, uh, to shuttle or transport alcohol just fine as long as the container is not open. Now, the, the, the use of the golf carts uh, or the functionality, let me go over that with you. So this particular uh, golf cart is a gas powered golf cart. So when you turn this on, you do not hear uh, the engine turn over or anything like that. It is gonna run and operate more like an electric vehicle. Uh, your nighttime running lights are gonna be this pull tab here. That's gonna allow you to drive at night. And make sure that you go ahead and turn that off after use so that you don't drain the battery. Now, if I can direct your attention underneath the driver's seat, you're gonna see a lever. Now, you'll see FNR, that is forward, neutral, and reverse. Reverse is clearly gonna give you that noise indicating which gear you are in. And make sure that you have the right gear in, in, in place and make sure you have it all the way over to one side so that it is fully in gear. A lot of times you will have it in neutral and of course, you're not gonna be able to go anywhere in neutral. Now, once you come to a complete stop, you're gonna wanna go ahead and engage the parking brake completely so that the golf cart then cannot be moved. And as soon as you have it in gear, so if I put that in gear, when I go ahead and turn the gas, uh, hit the gas pedal, I'm ready to go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put that in and put it in neutral. Um, again, I was stating that this is a, go a gas powered uh, golf cart. You will not need to be responsible for filling the gas can back up, or the gas tank, I should say. Uh, just bring the golf cart back to us in, in the same condition we give it to you and you'll be good. Now in the front compartment here, you're gonna have uh, your garage door opener. I would not put any personal um, expensive items or anything like that in here. When you go to the beach, if anybody is gonna be checking for those, they're probably gonna be looking here. Um, in the back of the golf carts, we have a uh, more of a hidden compartment back here. This is also doubles as a ice box. So you can put your refrigerated items in there, but you can also put some of the items that um, you're wanting to leave at the beach in the golf cart, but just not sitting out where somebody might be able to take that. Um, this is also a great mode of transportation for your beach chairs. Uh, you can stack those on here. Some of our golf carts now have this rack here where the, golf, the, uh, the beach chairs slide onto just fine. But in the event that yours does not, most of the golf carts, the, the back seat does flip down and allows you to transport this way. Um, now we only have one golf cart per property. There's a lot of other uh, third party vendors here though that will rent out additional golf carts if you need that. 
But what I always say is that although you can't fit more than six people on the golf cart, I'm sure there's going to be somebody in your party that loves to just be the chauffeur and has that cool feeling when they're driving that golf cart down. So just have that person shuttle you guys to and from the beach, and that's going to be the best way to do that.